In Sound of Metal, Riz Ahmed plays a drummer in a noise rock duo who suddenly loses his hearing. Director Darius Martyr says finding the right actor took years. I often say I, I worked hard to scare the crap out of every actor I ever met that wanted to do this movie because I wanted to see who was up for it. It is a performance without safety nets. Riz spent seven months learning to play the drums. He wore devices that cut off his hearing for real, and he learned ASL. While you were learning American Sign Language, what did you learn about the deaf community? Many, many things. You know, a lot of deaf people say hearing people are emotionally repressed because they hide behind words. And when I first started communicating in American Sign Language, I would find myself getting much more emotional than I would if I just said the words. And I realized what it is to kind of communicate in that embodied way. Olivia Cook plays his partner on stage and off. Again, no safety nets. When a director tells you you have to perform on stage in front of a bunch of people in two months with an actor you've just barely met and you're gonna be playing guitar, and screaming, what goes through your mind? Because you're just like, okay, that seemed, okay, yeah, maybe, yeah, that'll, that'll work. Like two months is a long time. And then you, it slowly creeps up and you're like, I can't do this. And then you're on stage and your guitar string snaps, which mine did. And I'm like, well, this is it, then it's a sign. It's going to be horrible. Riz winds up at a home for deaf addicts run by Paul Racy, an actor who grew it. up with deaf parents. We're looking for a solution to, to this. Not this. What was the vibe like on the set? Some people might think it was probably pretty quiet. Oh, <laughs> only when they said we're rolling. Uh, deaf people are pretty noisy, as a matter of fact. There's another major character in the film, the sound, which rumbles, distorts, gets muffled, connecting you in a physical way to Riz's experience. Tweaking the sound design took half a year. I was going for a very, very high level of sonic experience that is usually reserved for action films and explosions. And in this case, it was just something much different and, um, and really unexplored. An exercise in empathy. Sound of Metal asks, who are we really when we only define ourselves by what we do?